This is Kevin Lee reporting live from outside my door. And bitch, it's definitely snowing. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not a news reporter, but that was my best attempt at being a reporter. But as you guys can see, it's definitely coming down out there. Um, I think so far we have about five inches of snow, six inches of snow, and it's only seven o'clock in the morning, and it's only going to get worse from here. Um, but I'm kind of nervous though. My mom, she works, you know, my mom works overnights on the weekends, and she worked last night. And, you know, they're saying that, you know, travel's horrible and they, they might be shutting down the MTA. So my mom might be stuck out there. I don't know. Um, so we're, fingers crossed, she's, you know, she's insisting on taking public transportation home. Hopefully she'll get home safe and fine. But yeah, um, I called her and I asked her, like, hey, Ma, are you sure you don't want me to come get you? She's like, no, don't, you know, we, you know, we have a really good spot, you know, we can't. You know, risk, you no know, not having a spot. I'm like, listen, I said, if we have to, you know, move the car, I'll move the car. But then I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, not for nothing, my car is small. <laughs> and it's light, especially compared to the car I had last year. I had a Jetta last year. And that's a much heavier car, much beefier car. So I'm a little nervous to even drive this little car in the snow. But if I look at my mom, I'm going to rush my mom, right? Okay, it is now like an hour later. And I told my mom, she's like on Sefton Boulevard, she's waiting for the bus to come to the neighborhood. But she said she's been out there for a while and there's no cabs and the snow's only getting hotter. So I don't know what she wants to do, what she's gonna do. Um, she said she's track, you know, tracking the bus on the, uh, whatever the bus app is called, I, for, I can't think of it right now. And they said it just left the terminal, which isn't too far from where she is. But the way she's describing everything out there, I, I don't know. Um, I'll give you guys an update in a few. Okay, really great news. My mom is on the bus. Thank God she's on her way home. So, the crisis is pretty much semi-averted. Nah, crisis is averted. So she should be here and I'm gonna give her like a half hour, 45 minutes, cause she has to come all through the neighborhood and you know, the plows don't come through the neighborhood at all anytime soon. On the main streets, you'll be okay, but on the side streets, um, this probably gonna take a while to get through. But yeah, she's on her way home, that is really good. I'm happy about that. Okay, so mommy is home. She is super tired. <laughs> it, Actually, let me tell you, the time now is 9.37, and she's just gotten home. She got off at 7 o'clock. 
it normally takes her maybe 45 minutes to get home from work if she takes the bus. It took her almost a full two hours and some change, two, two and a half hours almost, pretty much, to get home. And her pants are hanging up because they are soaking freaking wet from walking in the snow. So, she had a rough one. But she's a trooper. She wanted to stick it out and do what she had to do. I'm just glad she's home. She's safe. Maybe later on, I'll go out and see what the weather's doing. But I'm thinking today's going to be one of those days where it's BS phone calls, you know, social media, texting, and lots and lots of movies. Oh, and lots of eating. Lots and lots of snacks. <laughs> 3.28 a.m. So, all day, I pretty much just been in the house. Yes, no Facebook and stuff like that. Actually, I kind of took the whole, like, news reporter thing a little too literally. And was, like, literally posting all day about, like, what's going on with the weather. Like, from inside, watching the news. But, um... I figured I'd come outside and just to see what the weather, what it looks like, you know, now at this time of night. It's, it's very quiet, I can tell you that much. There's definitely no cars out here. The plows came, clearly, which is good. And as you guys can see, it's definitely not snowing. Um, the streets definitely look good. I can see kind of black top. Actually, let me go outside. I didn't shovel in front of my yard, so in front of my door, so it's very windy. There's no one out here. The corn store is still open, which is good, but I think they went right upstairs, so that's cool. Um, this guy's definitely stuck in. See you all saying with parking on the left side of the street? Well, this is a sewer street, so you really can't tell. But let me see if I can go over to where my car is see what it looks like. I'm letting you know, this sidewalk is a hot mess. I dig up my snow boots. But yeah, it's, it's quiet. That right there is my car. You can't see the front of my car at all. I'm going to try and go over there and get a little closer. Just so we can see what it looks like. These snow drifts are like really high and then the plow's coming through. It's really deep. Let's see if I follow this person's footsteps here. Oh yeah, it's really, really deep. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, you can see blacktop. So the plows did a really good job. Oh look. Let me see. Can you see? There's people walking the street right there. Ooh, yeah, this wind is a mess. Okay, so this is a perfect example of what I mean if you look if you're on a one-way street to park on the left side. This is the right side of the street. This is the left side of the street. See the difference in height on the snow? Now my car is completely buried. Still. But it's only buried in the front. In the front. Also, it's not a bad one, which is good. But it's still very buried. Like this, this here is definitely a good, like, four foot snow drift. Whereas this is like a five foot snow drift. Well, no. They're all about the same. Until my black is back inside, but that's what it looks like out here in Queens. The blues is officially over. M Ugh, MTA and stuff is still shut down, but the stuff should start coming back up like tomorrow, sometime tomorrow. But oh, as I try to find my way back, shit. Uh. So yeah, I mean that's it for the blizzard. Check my black is back in the house. It's cold and I ain't got no gloves on either. Couldn't find my gloves. Just think what's up my gloves. But as always guys, remember, be amazing.